Hey guys, welcome back to Cribby Superstar. Um, well, yeah, we're here. We are pretty much in the middle of this cutscene with, um, well, it's basically telling us what's happening and what's going on because we had to stop, kind of, rather. Like we, we 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 it was a really long video and then we were like, okay, we have to stop now. So yeah, <laughs> it was quite abrupt, but now now we're back. It's a new session. It's all cool. And furthermore, we have a sexy guest with us. But he didn't show up, so we've got random game critic. <laughs> Ouch. Well, no. Well, no, I've been here this whole time. What are you yeah. talking about? I'm, yeah, not, you... I'm, not, I'm not a guest. Yeah, you just signed it for the first three parts. We were, we were surprised by his commentary style. We thought we'd test it out. But, don't know if it worked. He yeah. didn't make the cut for the acting play of the guest. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the tryouts, but I was rejected, yes. <laughs> he didn't make, <laughs> didn't make the cut. We didn't hear a fucking thing he said. <laughs> Hence the being silent part. To be fair, he mastered that. <laughs> what have I got? I'm not, sure if that's a good, I'm not sure if that's a good quality to have in a commentator, though. Like, yeah, this guy, like, who you don't see his face, you just hear his voice, only he was quiet. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. what how about that? Yeah, it's a bold, it's a bold strategy, Cardin. Let's see if it pays off for him. Also, I'm feeling nostalgic. So I'm listening to some Castle Crashers music. Oh wow! Oh man, that's Castle a... Crashers. Yeah, that's that's that's. Um... <laughs> Remember that clusterfuck? <laughs> Better performance. Are you, are you talking about? Are you talking about the game or the people? Fuck, or I spilled some of the my people? drink. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about the game or the people you can combine with? Oh, okay, anyway. Oh, absolutely the people. Or person, specifically. One person. Who shall remain nameless. Indeed. Wow, we're starting beef on the internet! Although that is actually, not... Uh, that, that's not a place that, to start beef! I'm joking. That better performance, but that was entirely on me, because, like, I, if I remember, uh... like, I was trying to make the game run more smoothly. So, I was like, oh, let's try ticking this box. And, like, it just crashed the game immediately. Oh yeah, because like, it, like the option said like disable V-Sync, it says in parentheses, better performance. So I'm like, I'm reading that out loud, I'm like, uh, okay, V-Sync, better performance, try that. Game crashes, and he's just like, oh, better performance! <laughs> <laughs> and then he freaking screams at better performance! Oh, I, I want the hammer, I want the hammer! There we go. Oh, I forgot all about that. All I remember uh, I'm surprised at you, Kyle. I was expecting you to make a pony reference. <laughs> oh no, that's Dan's thing. That, I'm surprised he didn't go for that, actually. What? Hammer! Okay. Hammer. <laughs> well, I've already, I already did that, actually. Okay, <laughs> that'd be why, yeah. So this is the auto scroll world. Oh, that's great. Essentially. I'm going to... How okay, the so fuck am I going to fit through head. here? <laughs> this is so racist! <laughs> I can't fit! <laughs> fuck you! Rip. I'm actually getting shit on. Hang on, can I? I'm I'm hitting him. <laughs> nope, it, I'm not D getting any damage. I'm just basically just, stuck here. Just, yeah. Just don't kill him because there's something I want to show off in this. I wasn't getting any hits on him anyway. Oh, actually, funny thing on what when I was up up in Madison with Nate, we 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 tried a little bit of um. The new Kirby game, I forgot what it was called already. Uh, Rainbow, Star, uh, Allies. Star Allies, that's it, yeah. And like, because we, what, he, he, we're doing this thing where it's like you play like a shortened version of every game, but like these special hero characters. Because yeah, because there's like there's actually like best ties for every single one, like Smash Bros. Classic mode almost. Kirby's pretty much Smash Bros. now also, by the way. There's like dodging and rolling and shielding, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> but, so um, there we go. Paint ability. Use it on the um, heavy lobster. Turns him into a different color and makes him blind. Wow. Yeah, it's, this, this is the only appearance. <laughs> I think one of two appearances that this ability has in this <laughs> game. So I want to show it off. Oh no, heavy lobster's blind. You know, for a super for a Super Nintendo game, the fact they put that detail in is kind of mind blowing, actually. Like those little things, it's, like something that you don't they don't normally do. It's super. That silence was deserved. <laughs> uh, here's, there's there's no, nothing to say about that. Shitty and I was waiting for a secret to come up, and you're too heavy. 
<laughs> so, Look at Kirby's face. Oh my god! Here. I can't hold him! <laughs> Un unrelated, but I actually finally got my own couple copy of Shovel Knight, and I forgot how good that game was. Oh yeah, that game is super good. Like, I still need forgot. to play through the other characters yet. Dude, I was watching, I was watching some guys like top 10 games of the year list, and freaking um... The new um Bloodstain game was on there and I was like, oh wow, that game is that good also? Ritual of the Night, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I freaking love Bloodstain, both Curse of the Moon and Ritual of the Night. See what I say, we're playing playing Kirby, you gotta talk about anything but Kirby. <laughs> it's too cold! Uh, I'm gonna read the lines. <clears throat> I I've kind of during my solo playthroughs I've, I've just stopped reading dialogue because it's kinda of awkward if I just sit there and just Read the text as it oh, scrolls. Yeah. I just freaking let it scroll. Yeah, I never read. I never read text. I'm just like, hey, yeah, you guys can, you guys can read this. Freaking Dan, <laughs> you clean it. You get on and is causing me to die. <laughs> take a lot of damage. I'm sorry. That's I'll just sit damage. here and. Yeah, the Discord does not like us full screening the screen share, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, I'm just sitting in the corner. Hang on. I'm gonna sit in the corner. There I am. Yeah, you can sit in the corner. Go sit in this corner. But first I need you to press that button in the top left. Now come in here. No, I'm gonna do this. Lift it for okay, I was gonna come down there. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, player two doesn't matter anyway. No, it really doesn't. Oh shoot. I think the uh, subspace M in this area does something like this too, like it has like a room like this where See? you kinda need to use a second elevator instead of the first one to hit a switch. Well, oh, most normal so, games. That's that... so weird. Oh, that's what? So weird. It's Why like did it's... I clip through the elevator? That's so weird that the design, the design is similar. It's almost like it's the same game director. <laughs> Oh, by the way, so, uh, you guys hear about the freaking meltdown that Smash fans are having right now? Wee! <laughs> <laughs> and that is that. one of them. <laughs> Not only is it no Waluigi, but it's another Fire Emblem character. Oh, yeah, with the Biolith character. Oh, uh, fuck. I, I don't care too much, but people are so mad. <laughs> Fire Emblem is so shit. I'm just kind of sad that it's not so with this foam, the new Fire Emblem game. Because, oh. like, pretty much all the Fire Emblem characters have been appearing, it's always been like one of the Lord or like princesses of the game. Like it's never just like a side character. Well correct me if I'm wrong, isn't Byleth like the main like the character you play as in three houses or something? Yep. Yeah, well, so yeah. that that makes sense then actually to put the main character in. You give me the kiss of life here. But every time like I, I watch people talking about the game though, it's like they always have their favorite <laughs> Their favorite girl. It's like, it's like, oh yeah, she's in the background of the stage, and there's like a weirdly high number of people that are excited to see the gatekeeper for some reason. I uh, know I didn't play Three Houses. I heard it was really, really good though. Actually, I'm almost done with the first story, but yeah, I'm definitely paying enjoying it quite a bit right now. Stupid chickens. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I'd be into it. I might be because like the, the last time I played through like a super story heavy game where it's like it's like scrolling through text and making choices, but also a game in between it though was like the Phoenix no! I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, fine. I'll, I'll be bomb guy. I'll be bomber man. Bomber man. Oh hey, this looks familiar. That 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 multicolored diamond there. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that. Do, 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 do they reuse that later? You racist bugger. <laughs> Yeah, funny thing, um, friggin' uh, when we were playing, um, Kirby Star Allies, the first character, character Nate played through the whole story as was, um, that, that friggin' fairy girl, painter girl from Kirby 64. Ribbon and... Oh yeah, that was it. Meh. The fairy was Ribbon. I forgot the name of the artist. I was kinda like, huh, oh, that's cool that, that they got all this in here. Freaking snow, snow level music. It's great. Kirby's got bombs. 
And yeah, for this boss, there's no way to physically damage it, so you just gotta oh, redirect yeah. the laser back in. Yeah, that's right. I, I yep. just realized that like a couple seconds ago. I was like, I was like, why are you guys not attacking it? Oh yeah, right. It's yeah. Thing. Like I, I know a bit about this game for a game that I've probably never actually played. Bad news: your rats been damaged. The Wii's are abandoning ship. Ah! <laughs> that looks like such an awkward ship. It's imbalanced. <laughs> well, it is. Well. It is mostly blown up. No, it just even just ignoring that fact. It looks so imbalanced. It really does. Like the ship is like, so wide. Like it, it, it's not like a normal airship at all. I don't want yo-yo. I got like the freaking halberd in so, 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 subspace. I I have noticed. I have a hard time saying that phrase. Subspace emissary. The freaking halberd in like in, in actually just in brawl in general is like much longer. It's shaped more like a normal plane than this thing is. <laughs> Ooh, cake. This game, in a way, pro like promotes obesity and, and unhealthy eating because it's like you're feeling down. If you, you you're feeling hurt, uh, have, some, have some cake. Killed by the partner. Oh well, it's like Bomberman. Even, even better. Uh, so, what's the objective of Yoshi's story? Eat everything. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yo yo, yo yo. Also, I don't really need stone ability, but I'm just hoping to get one of the three golden statues in this auto score. Because <laughs> there is a golden statue, gold Samus statue, there's a gold Mario statue, and then I'm not sure what the third one is. Maybe like a gold how. I got two of them during my 100% playthrough on YouTube, but I wasn't able to get the third one. Oh yeah. Shout out to Sapphire who has done this game multiple times before. Hmm. We well, did it. He did a solo. I thought you were dead for a second. The freaking lag. Oh, now you are dead. Oh, order scroller. Ah, oh, that's a bit gay. Ah. That's a bit gay. <laughs> that's the thing about Kirby. You can't just simply continue or anything. It has to give you an animation. To explain what's going on. It's like, you beat a level, you can't just beat it gracefully. I've got to dance. But I've got to spawn into three Kirby's and dance. At least he doesn't like do the dance like every time you like friggin... Like, get, get like a single oh thing God. at the end of a regular level, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> You got, you got a gem, do the dance. You got a relic, do the dance. Can you skip it? Of course not, do the dance. <laughs> yeah, I love how they apparently sort of like incentivized the dance in DKC2. Because like, if, if you didn't make it, then that's fine. You just beat level normally. But if you, if you beat it, you could rap on the spot, and it was cool. Who said you can't go any further? That was hot. No, it wasn't threatening. Yeah. You can't go any further. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay. okay. That, that sounds less like a threat and more like a like a, just a regular statement. Like, oh, like you can't go further. Uh. Uh. All right. I'll find a way around then. Oh, that was a threat. Oh. Um. Well, watch. <laughs> watch me then. <laughs> yeah. Like, have you seen the? Um. I swear, there's like, this one. Ah. Uh... There's this one. There's this one thing I saw. It's like the worst movie line ever, and it was like this thing. I don't know. It's like this woman. She going, "You're my mom or something like that." I can't remember. But then the lady goes, "No, and you will die." <laughs> That's just the way she says it. it seems so forced <laughs> and so shit. If I can find it, I'll link it to you. I think that that sounds familiar, actually. I saw it like years ago, like really, it was so long ago. <clears throat> this night ain't so meta. Yeah. He's beta night. Oh, shit's fired. He's a beta male. See, see, look, that's not the most practical of, um, why is the wing on the right hand side longer? <laughs> like that's also, what I'm talking you're about. Now. 
I, think, I, th I found a compilation. I think that like one of. Hang on, I found a compilation of the worst movie lines. I think that one of them is is, is here. Also, you're in control, by the way. So yeah, this uh, part is all up to Dan now. Like since he's like normally, if you're playing single player, you'd have the control, but Dan is completing control of the wheel right now. All I can do I is just use my star shoot. I, I love I having it. this responsibility. Fuck you, whatever. I, I think I found it. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Is that where it's from? You're, al you're alive, and you will die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, shit! Okay, I almost died, ironically enough. That is the biggest spot to die, if anything. <laughs> The only and... freaking extended songs on this whole thing is that I can find is just the winter music and the necromancer battle. This works. Actually, actually no, I'm kind of sick of this because I, I have a straight up saved on my freaking phone, actually. I have this in my Spotify library. Let's just do, do something else. That's one thing. This game has got really good music. Kirby's got really good music though, in general. I was We were saying that before when we started recording. Sir Kibble Cutter! Oh, the, you, yeah. I looked away looking for more music and you see you, you won. Cool. These are the credits. Yeah, we won. Yeah, I've got the soundtrack CD for three different Kirby games. Like, I've got for 60, Kirby 64, Superstar slash Superstar Ultra, and Kirby's Dream Collection, which is like the anniversary collection. Let me see, like, I don't put like any video game music in my actual library. It's like, it's like, I think I made a specific exception just for this song, because technically the Castle Crashers Necromancer fight is not something that was made just for Castle Crashers. It's a real song by a real artist called uh, Simple Sight. I was like, oh, cool, this is a thing. I'll save this one. It's the one. Oh, also, freaking when I was like just shuffling through music, it's, I have stumbled upon a metal cover of Megalovania, and I'm like, this is great, I'm saving this. <laughs> <laughs> Too freaking metal. Samira, mirror. Kirby gets changed very quickly. Just, he's like, suplex. Oh, I need to get changed, I need to get changed. Hammer. <laughs> Hammer. I need to get changed. Speak for yourself. Power salt. Speak for yourself. I'm just changing my weapon, but you're changing form. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy to do than getting changed. Like, if you change form, if you're magical, you can just do it like that. Whereas, if you've got to change your uniform, you've actually got to go off screen and do it. Anyways, next video, we will do the Great Cave Offensive. Do not press start, you motherfucker.